event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing for the undisputed heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing, in the blue corner, fighting out of London, England, weighing in at 228 pounds, or 16 stone, four pounds, with a professional record of 32 wins, two defeats, with 31 KOs, ladies and gentlemen, he is rated number world in the world by the WBC. He is the challenger, Frank Bruno. And in the red corner, from Catskill, New York, weighing 15 stone, eight pounds, or 218 pounds, he is undefeated in his professional career, 35 wins, 31 KOs. He is the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. Let's see how quick he starts. Bruno tries to keep him off. Bruno showing that he's not afraid. Hanging on. Bruno's already tagged with the right hand. And there goes Bruno for the first time. In the he knows the power of Mike Tyson. Tyson, if ever there was a guy fighting like a raging bull. Bruno has all the pride of England standing for him. He gets tagged again by a right hand. He's trying to hang on to Mike and hit. Mike is just looking for an opportunity but hanging on and hitting Mike Tyson. Put him up with the left hand. Bruno. Bruno has come to try and mix it up. He's hanging on to the head of Tyson. About hanging on and hitting. It's about distractions of an answer. As Tyson attacking anything by the time this fight's over. But Frank Bruno is trying to make a fast to ring. He knows he's in with the ball. Tyson gets nailed with a left hook. Tyson looks wobbly as he attacks Bruno. Bruno continues to throw. Tyson was caught by Frank Bruno. Tyson trying to fight back. And Watch this now and let's see just how it happened. It was a short right hand that caught Bruno. He was wobbled and then another right hand kind of up over the shoulder got him off balance and you notice Tyson never stopped swinging. There's the short right that has him in trouble. Right now he's, he's wobbled on his legs and then it's up on the top of the back of the head but he's not hurt here at all. And then of course Richard Steele moves in. And there's the right hand that caught Tyson and buckled him in round two. And it looks like he's ready to be a special hello to Chris Myron. Doesn't get frustrated. He just looks ahead of Mike Tyson. Tyson attacks. Tyson misses. The right hand catches Bruno. Left hook. Bruno looks ready to go. Now is what he's going to hang on. And he, right now, Bruno trying to keep him off. And the, in fact, for the betting round three is an important round. So far. Such magnificent shape. Big in a punch off. Mike catch. Salt. Nothing there. Kind of a stand-up guy, almost tailor-made for Tyson. The idea that it's a question of time before Mike catches him. Has some has got to let that right hand fly. Fight. Both hands free. They continue to fight after the belt. Throwing that right hand. Bruno is hooked. Bruno can throw that right hand more and try to catch Tyson with a left hook. Fish. That light. Oh, another right hand gets through. In the style that Bruno is fighting here. Uppercut comes round number five. And Tyson attacks it. His last time out against Bugner, Bruno had to go. It's about eight or nine thousand here at the Hill Hotel. Bruno was caught that time, and Tyson knows it. Tyson trying to attack now to finish him off. Bruno has the wherewithal to have room to come off the ropes. Scores with the uppercut. Lancer, big right hand. Bruno's in big trouble now. He's ready to go. And he hits him with the right hand. Bruno trying to hang on as best he can. He's still in big trouble. The uppercut catches him. The right hand catches him. He's really being hit now. Blood coming from the nose. His eyes are puffy. This is round five. Remember, a fighter cannot be saved by the bell as the big right hand lands. Tyson knows he's got him in big trouble. If he doesn't answer it, Richard Steele has moved in and has stopped the fight. It's all over. Michael Tyson wins on a fifth round. TKO.